All right. Good morning. Um, back into tell me why. We might finish it up today. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, if we do finish it up today, then we'll play something else as well. And yeah, let's get into it. And we continue. Again, might not talk as much because this is a storytelling game, and I'd rather the story tell the game. Or er, the game tell the story. My bad. <laughs> okay, so where we left off last time, we uh, are trying to talk to Sam about why he was at the police station when. Like, ten years ago, like, when, um, Allison and Tyler were kids. Um, so now we're just kind of waiting for Sam to be available to talk. And, yeah. I think that's it. I don't know if he needs help fixing this or what. Examine these papers. Um, some coherence. Um, his bank statement. Black dogs with the red. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Where's my mouse at? Can't see my mouse cursor on. <laughs> There's too many computers. Um, that does nothing. Hopefully, everybody had a good weekend. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's uh, it's in a red can. Not All right. Princess. We gotta find a red can. Is that out of there, or is that just spray paint? Do 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 do. Okay, so can't go up there. Lean <sighs> on this. <laughs> find something? I don't know. Do, do, do. Nope. Can't really look. How's everybody doing this morning? I'm gaming kind of weird because I changed my uh, my layout of my desk. And I don't have an external keyboard at the moment. So that's fun. Um, oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Impressive collection. Well, you want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. 
Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Whoa, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. Yes. It's, it's still playing. Well, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? <laughs> I don't know. My arm is going to get tired of playing this game. <laughs> Only just because of the layout I have right now for my uh, laptops. How about this? Huh? No. No, it should be on one of those shelves back there. Don't stress yourself out. I can work them for you eventually. Do do do. All right. Uh, oh, damn it. What happened? Ah, busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Okay, but what cupboard? You have so much junk everywhere, Sam. Covered, covered, covered. Yeah, the gauze should be in that uh, cupboard over there. But again, where's the cupboard? Okay, so I can't go that way. This is a mess. Find anything? Found the cupboard. I feel sneeze coming on. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. Uh the man you're looking for, he ain't me. <laughs> oh, okay. I know that I'll feeling. Just take your word for it, then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. Uh, let's go with, but what? You were so close. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. I can't open my can up. You so honestly much. think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. You must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Mary Ann. I'm going to pause here so I can explain this game a little bit. Um, so this game revolves around a set of twins who um, have, who only had a mother when they were growing up. And then 10 years ago from like this timeline that I'm currently playing, um, they were separated because one the mother tried to kill one of the twins 
But then the other twin, so this girl that I'm currently playing as, she's the one who actually killed the mother because the mother was going after her brother. And now they're trying to figure out what secrets their mother had and stuff. So yeah. And then they're also bringing back some memories that they're not quite sure happened or what. So they and they can talk to each other through like their uh, mind voice, I guess you could call it. So yeah. It's more of a storytelling game and there's been a lot more dialogue in this third chapter than the rest of it. But yeah. And would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. Yes, it is. But I don't even know who she was. It is the name of the game. Uh, I got it off of Steam. That's where you're looking for. Come with me. Let me show you something. Why am I always sleepy whenever I'm trying to stream? Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Heat's on the press. Oh. Come over here. Sit with me. Let's open the window. Much better. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely different. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Um, let's see. Break the card first, I guess. Okay, I think I know what happened that made me crash. My um, Ethernet cord decided to pull out randomly, so then I was on Wi-Fi. Um, so hopefully I'm all fixed. I gotta, like, tape that to my laptop because I don't have a locking mechanism, which is really annoying. Um, but I'm back. Okay, I think I'm back. Um, hopefully all you guys are back too, aside from maybe needing to uh, some things. Um, I don't know exactly where it cut out at. That's the thing. What's the numbers on the phone? You can turn it on, but leave it plugged in. Um... So, to finish off, or to, uh, answer you, Ace, as long as you're still here, hopefully you are, um, 
there's been more storytelling at the last chapter than um, the first two chapters. So we're in chapter three of this game. Um, and so yeah, it's more storytelling than actually um, Um, yeah, back to it, I think. Uh, give me one second to, okay, I think everybody's back, should be back, hopefully. <sighs> um, all right, we resume. Um, Alright, uh, so this is a family photo of a family dinner, I guess. Um, so this is just a postcard from Crypt to Juno. Uh, this is a birthday card for Sam's 29th for Anne. This is a postcard from Marianne from their family trip to Juno. And then this the thing we have schemes. looked at. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Oh, it was a book? <laughs> I guess so. Must have been one of her favorites. Oh, she was so mad. <laughs> Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. Salmon. I think that's it. Oh, right here. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? Oh, uh, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. <laughs> Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so <laughs> I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gotta go through with this. It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all I it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Uh, let's go with I'm sorry.
I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. <laughs> it stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. I feel a sneeze coming on. Ugh. Oh, this is like day two of sneeze attack. My God, it's terrible. No, I think we're back to the house. Get the whole off my property. Now, if you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Hey, Tyler. I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. 
Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Got everything you need, by the way? Point. Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh... I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Let's see if I can Come do on. this. Pull up on the rod. <sighs> now give it a nice pull. Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey, Let's talk so the more. other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we are going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE. Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so... He found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I... I'm not sure where I'm going. But, yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. Um... I should have said this earlier, but thanks for doing all this. Don't mention it. Besides, I, I want to see if coming. all this talk of yours was just that. Your verdict? You're doing pretty well, but don't let it go to your head. Still plenty of time for Ego to get the best of you. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Another fish. Let's see if I can do this again. Doop, 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 doop. This one's fighty. Uh, let me, uh, 
Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? <laughs> you betcha. Thanks for the lurk! Yeah, we'll talk to Michael some more. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you fish. say anything. I got this. I knew another one was coming. It was about time. <laughs> that sweet spot is kind of small. Mm, easy. <clears throat> oh. Whoa. Bam. <clears throat> three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I... Can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh... You've been with people, right? Uh, romantically? Uh, yeah. A few. Have you? Uh, no. Not really. That's kind of surprising. Go with never met the right person. I guess the right person just never came along. But you're open to the idea? Yeah, I could be. <laughs> Let's say I'm reevaluating. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look. I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore.
hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I guess I think he's... we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. You're missing the show. Mm -hmm. You can move or do nothing. Which one? Eh, let's make a move. You okay? Ugh. Ew, kissing! I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the option if I actually thought it was gross. Why didn't you go inside? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yes. One way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Uh, call me later? You know I will. And uh, another sneeze is coming. I can feel it. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Ugh. <sighs> Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. These sneezes are All fun. This, Not this really. It's been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it.
apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. And we walk to the barn. I can't see up that high. There we go. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain is going to some real dark places. We don't have to do this. We might not like what we find. When has that ever stopped us? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain is going to some real dark places. Let's go with this one. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. What do you look think again? is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain is going to some real dark places. It's probably just storage. We're gonna find like 13 years of National Geographic or something. So why would she keep it a secret then? So we need to find a way to get up there, I guess. I don't know. We gotta move the hunk of junk. I don't know how. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. Use. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Do, 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 do. We got a ladder. There's the ladder. Do, do, do. Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. She left us something. Another puzzle. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. All right. 
right. Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. present in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. <sighs> Mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. I'm missing some. Back in your pond, big frog. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. There you go, stalwart moose. So you gotta find one, two, three, four, six more. Give me one second. I'm getting a. All right, I'm back. I was getting a spam call. <laughs> um. All right, so I this don't get thing. This one. What's the deal with the tiara? No clue. The princess. Do you have any idea what the code might be? No. So we should probably see if Marianne hid anything before we go trying to guess. Back to the pie symbol. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Um, Tyler, we're not done with this one. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Where this one, I think. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Okay, so what's the differences? Um. Okay, spot the differences. It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back which either makes it before most of the stories or after yeah at some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the mad hunter meant to marianne um the castle is not in the book why do you think she added that castle in the background see the color of the flag it could be her mother's castle Looks like the princess is running away from it. So, Marianne ran away from home. And she grew up kinda rich? Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So, we saved Marianne from something. But not in this version? Um, what else? The title is also different. Huh. 
Is there an extra star here? Or am I just imagining that? Let's do these like that. It's just then. a ra It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters, the gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. Uh -oh. My head. Did you know she studied engineering? No. It, it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. Uh -uh. Eh, read. Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit. Like, it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with. And I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all of this on our own, without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different, but the damage is done, and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry, you were an amazing person, made me a better man, hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we will both be better off apart. There you go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. I'm here, but I'm gone. Brent. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Uh, Jacksonville Ballet Art Competition, 1978. First prize. Um... Lola Arnett Talent Competition winner, 1979. Uh, Wes Covana Ballet Olympiad, 1981, second place. A lot. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. A little light. Oh, Oops, walked way too close to it. Here's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Okay, so... Uh, choose this. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which one. Hmm. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Um, ballet would be this one. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. The bird. Is the gold leaf, is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Um... That looks like the house. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. So this is after wow. she moves to Delos She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Oh. 
Don't read. Her father. This is a lot of words. I move slightly. Uh, April, May 17th, 1996. This is a very old letter. Uh, I hope, Mary Ann, I hope this letter finds you. Since you didn't leave any contact information, I will have to pray and hope for the best. I'm writing to inform you your mother passed away last week. We just had our funeral reception. The house has been filled with people, all day. friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It's now 11 p.m. and I'm sitting alone at my kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards. Your cousin, Addie, brought in a full photo album full of our holiday pictures in La Con. You're there in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years and on can only help you to Alaska or wherever you are and that you are, you and your child are both safe. Your mother has been sick and depressed for years and you can imagine why. The pain of being shunned by your own daughter knowing she would never get the chance to to see her grandchild grow up. It spread through your, her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this because you ran away in a temperamental, like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock. After dropping college and without a penny in your name, she only stopped, stepped up to help because she knew you were need to raise a child properly. Marrying a mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you will begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't try again. You have made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. Dad. That's a very long letter. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long-lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more fam family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep going. Oh, freaking cord keeps popping out. Darn. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Uh, in June 1982. That's all I really want. No. All right, now it's the next puzzle. This one. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? Um. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. So that's the frog, bear and the princess. Here fix at the house, princess's party. Oh. Oops, missed one. Do 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 do. You don't see any with. I mean, that could be the tea party, honestly. 
Um, That's the gold lady's castle. Some sort of clock? She was making clocks. Then she this moved is the to Bella's crop. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. What's that? Damn it. Why is nothing happening? Maybe I did it wrong. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. That and then what's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock. Something clocks. This is the princess's house. And then the tea this party. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's laws. Is this from the book of goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. A lot of words. Um, the princess is lost. Once upon a time in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She ma had made it to the woods and with nothing left but clothes on her a single item from her old life. A splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate flight of the manter. Trees tore the rock from her back and shredded her and a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she was terrible, just fearing any step could cause it to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house window where the sun would catch on its surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing it, its every surface to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. Then she would pluck it up, place it upon her head, and walk the woods, feeling somehow more complete. What? After she was a princess without a crown. And then he would upon her even On her way, she would pause and glance back to make sure it was still there. She needed to be separated from it, but she knew it was the safest on the pillow while she slept. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. All right, drink some of mommy's water. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on, but when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her, and now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? Okay, so the orange is the key. Um, yellow is O. 
and then red is L. Give me one second, my doorbell is ringing. <laughs> I am back again. Uh, and we'll go back into it. Alright, so orange is E, yellow is O, red is L. Exactly. Alright, should be so the easy enough. Is the L, orange is the E. If I can find it. And then yellow. Oh. Yes. Tired from running up and down the stairs. <laughs> what? Whoa. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie. She, uh, she noticed. Dear Allison and Ollie, we write stories to understand and be understood, but what's good is a story without a first act. I'm sorry I kept mine from you so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. But there's more stuff. There's a blanket. Hey, baby blanket. Now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. All right, then. Okay, so it's not on this side. Maybe it's on this side. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Um, this one? Uh... Took the shingles on the roof and the planks in the walls. 
It even shook the beams on which the house stood, blowing the whole thing near to the ground. Uh. Okay, so the walls, the roof... Um... Oops. Maybe the. Okay, so fix the roof. Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. Fix the wall. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. She slapped the post with her. All right. Damn, that must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Uh, do I? Dear Marianne, you cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you. So I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in her. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I keep my... Met... Melaconic rambling and sweet. I want to thank you with all of my heart for taking care of me for these past few months. I can't even imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want me to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a great strength of mine to know when it's time to let go, and that time has come like to ask you for one last favor. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died. I know the pain. I would be so much more at peace knowing he still has family. Maybe he could just add a fish. He likes spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth that meets you brought to my life. Give the kids the kiss from me, Carol. So Eddie's mother. That's that one. The crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Uh, tab. Oh, da -da -da -da. Oh, where's the pelican? The pelican forgives the goblins. One day as they were foraging for food, the poorest pelican landed on a rock and dumped a smorgasbord from her beak, which the goblins knew was magic and never emptied. There were king crabs in red, blue, gold, and scarlet, veiny blue shrimp, pink shelled scallops, oblong brown clams, purple shiny urchins, and even one prickly red sea cucumber. Her beak never emptied. Do you think she would mind if we took just a little last one to the other? Her beak never empties. She won't probably miss a couple crabs. Said the second, licking her lips. They were agreed, so they crept over, flinched some crabs, and ran. Uh... Uh, the pelican was dismayed, but she was a charitable-hearted bird, and she could tell the crafty goblins were growing little creatures. Goblin, said the poorest pelican, I will share my food with you, but you must in return follow my example and be as generous with others as I am with you. Take that to heart, and I will have considered your debt paid. But we have nothing to give, said the goblins. You have your nimble hands and your crafty brains and your loving heart, said the pelican. 
crafty goblins realized how much they had to give, and for the rest of the day they looked for ways to help the other creatures in the forest. They found the moo struggling with an itchy, hard-to-reach spot on his back, so they climbed up and gave it a good scratching. Next, they helped the old bear... Um... And then the princess. Okay, so the moose, bear, and princess. Okay, so moose. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Bear. They broke open the beehive for the bear. And princess. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. Pelican Crossing is a specialty gift boutique located near the O'Shea Glitter Catering in Yacht Channel. Tourists as well as Delos Crossing locals. We specialize as an, in an assortment of high quality products from home, except as hand souvenirs to personalize apparel and locally made art. Pelican Crossing will be the first store to act as a relay between the buzzing arts and craft scene and commerce. In addition to a wide array of novelty handcrafted products, the, co the consumer will enjoy friendly and knowledgeable customer service from Vichy store owner Tessa Vichy and up-and-coming artist Marianne Ronan. This business plan is prepared to obtain financing in the amount of $50,000 to purchase inventory and help cover expenses in the first Options. In year one, the Pelican Cross plans to break even, and in year two, we plan to generate a moderate profit. We're keeping the executive summary part of our business plan. What do you think, Tessa? Okay, so that's done. That's done. So now we do this one. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Alright, so bear. The bear and the princess. Um, why is it always so many words? The princess had no reason to trust the old bear except that he had kind eyes, and so he slowly made her way down the tree when she reached the ground. The bear only watched her, so she's and so she supposed she was not going to be eaten today. Thank you, she said she told the old bear. Of course he said. Can I walk with you back to your home? Of course, said the princess. And so the princess and the old bear walked together through the forest back to the big wooden house. Okay, the day a princess will occasionally find gifts from the bear. A fresh caught salmon, a handful of ripe berries, a newly Bloomed bluebell, one spring with a sudden thaw flooded the path out of the princess's home. The old bear was there. She rode on his back to the river. Uh, okay, so salmon, berries, and a bluebell. Why don't we open up the book and check? Lexi. Fresh caught salmon. Um, berries. Some roses, maybe. No, that's not it. Or not. Any berries. Some honey. No. Or not. A newly bloomed bluebell. A bluebell. A handful of ripe berries. Yes. Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Uh, why is there some letters? That's okay. Sorry for the note under the door like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the halo, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to. I hope I didn't ruin any everything. I know I probably come on kind of strong. The thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong, and you know so much, it's hard for me to know how to keep up. Yes, all that went to my head, but I want you to know I got the message, and I'm going to get 
out of your hair now, and now and there doesn't need to be any bad feelings. We can pass in the street and say hello or not. It's okay. I noticed your car was moving, so I put some sealant in there. You need to take it to the shop, though. Let me know if you want me to come with you, because sometimes these guys try to rip you off. If not, big deal. Stay. And we have one last one. Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably... Oh, uh, two thieves. Let's see. Now... Brain pain. Um... Nope. Princess and the two thieves. And snow blanketed the earth, the ice bent the trees low, and the wise princess realized that food was disappearing from her house. It was not much at first, only a few fruits and nuts and eggs vanishing during the night. So, fruit and eggs. Um... Spoons, plates, forks and knives, and blankets. Okay, so... Probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Fruit? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Eggs? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Some flour for the cake, maybe? No, no I didn't get... Wait. Spoons. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Uh, okay, I think we finished all the puzzles now. Let's look this tiara real quick. I wish she just explained all this to us. Okay, now we can leave. We got everything. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Yeah. Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. I'm missing a few things. But that's okay. Some of the uh, collectibles. But I think we're going to the end of the game. What are we waiting for? I want to know who is here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Space. Remember. It's a boat. Almost. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessin. Did she? Yeah, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you.
we get more to the story? Stretch. I'm going to pause here until ads are done. Um, da -da 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 -da. um we got like 30 minutes left ish. So if this does finish beforehand, we'll just kind of do some just chatting or whatever, depending on how close it is to raid off time. Speaking of, I need to see who I'm raiding off to. Do that now. While I wait another 20 seconds. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Get rid of all my notifications. Um. Da -da -da -da. All right. Since this is blue blaze a lot. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I mean, I thought I did anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. You look so angry. I mean, I can understand what's going on. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you... ...mean all the money she, she wanted. We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was gonna blow up in my face. I had to do something. do now we tell him he's got to fix the mess he made one way or another hey you hearing me yep sorry i'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face he's not even the least bit sorry for what he did he could have seriously hurt you yeah he's just a fucking coward You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. 
It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. Get her a bandager. Oh, I prayed. That was convenient for you, huh? You prayed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Winter time. What are they doing? They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they do it? It's his fault. This is his fault. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh. 
You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. This game isn't done yet. Who knows? It might be. I don't know. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now... When I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. A lot of work into the cinematics on this game. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. 
I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Beavis? How you doing? Marianne couldn't face being separated from her kids again. And the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. And no way. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I think it's this game, I maybe. You. It's really I saved cinematic us. I <laughs> right now. You did the right thing. It might pause for a second. Yeah. Um. Okay. I just wanted to check my uh, internet, make sure. You want to go back inside? Yeah. I also think I forgot to turn off some things that's running in the background. My bad. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little bit aged well, or just gone bad? Cheers, I guess. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. And that I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really Yeah, I think it's just because I have Leah. stuff running in background that, that I forgot to close. I had to close it every day before I start streaming, but I kind of forgot today. Listen, with everything that's and my been internet going has been acting up today too. Thinking about our voice, like that maybe we should stop using it. What? I just don't trust it, and I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions. Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. 
I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge, brothers and sisters, to once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the Mad Hunter. Finally reached the end. Slowly wait for this to load. Probably just gonna be loading credits, honestly. Not too sure. Oh, six months later. We still got some more. <laughs> One last look, and I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. Um... How's Juno? How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment, I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything <laughs> until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Uh, we'll just go through all How the are you? chat problems. Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know... Emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. 
I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Heard about Tom. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. And then, gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Run. Oh, I can't go in the barn again? Okay, that's upsetting. That's okay. Take a look at the winter reviews real quick, and then go to the car. Just because I don't know how long these credits are. I did miss some collectibles, so I'm probably going to... Uh, See anything else? Can we just like leave now? Or do I gotta open the gate? No, I can't open the gate. There must be something I'm missing. It's telling me to examine stuff in the car. Let's go in the house real quick. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. Oh, there was more stuff. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Photos. Take. So weird. At least it's the last time we'll ever have to. Look. Um. Leave that section. Don't need to see the laptop. There's a thing here on the floor. Turn. Turn. One of those holographic photo things. Anything else? Is this stuff on the floor? You know, university. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. Uh, run upstairs real quick. See if there's anything left. We got a couple minutes before I have to raid off to Yoshi. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon. For posterity. I should be able to leave now. Hopefully. Lean real quick. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fix It. Oh, hey, there's a paper airplane. I think I missed seeing that the last time. 
Alright. Get to the power. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Leave. Now, go down the stairs. Do, 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 everything and stay. Wait, hang on. There's some stuff here. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. Examine. Examine. I don't need to look at. I just want to leave. It won't let me leave. I won't leave. So I'll try and figure out how to leave. Oh, we gotta lock the house apparently. Uh, I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. I grabbed everything, or so I thought. Um, I'm gonna try and finish this up and then after I raid. Because it is time to raid off to Yoshi. I'll finish this and then log off. Um, you know, she's playing some Dead by Daylight, so give him some hype and some love, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all next time. And this game will be done. <laughs> so, figure out something else to play. Zoom. It would help if I could. Like, seriously, what am I forgetting? Like, I looked all around here. Only thing I'm forgetting is maybe the laptop. Tells crossing most wanted escapes. Maybe the sleeping bag? I don't know. It was the sleeping bag. <laughs> Let's see. That should be everything now. Uh, I'm just saying that he came by to help fix things. Send a picture to Allison. I guess I forgot this Marianne's room. <laughs> and then she's got a reply. Leave the house for good. There we go. I will probably go through this game again well, just to get all the This is goodbye for real. Uh, yes. Collectibles. Because I missed some of them. Ending the cinematics. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but... I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. 
This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Oh, sleepy. Complete. And, uh, completed the puzzle. Believe the twins' memory. Uh, held on to their voice. Sixty seven percent confessed the truth. Listen to Sam's story. 71% kissed Michael. And... Okay. Yes, this is a good number to know. But it's kind of hanging away from me trying to get out of this game. <laughs> So that is that for that game. Um, gonna figure out what game we're gonna play next. And yeah, that is it for me today. If I can exit out of this game. And hopefully, well. I'll figure out a game to play Wednesday. Because that's what I'm streaming next for sure. Not 100% sure if I'm streaming tomorrow again. But we'll figure it out. Um, have fun. Be safe. Don't do anything dumb. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye-bye.